Hi friends, how are you? The small has turned eight. Hooray! Eight is great. Um, and so we had her big birthday party a couple of weeks ago when her birthday was. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I'm so grateful for everybody that came. My extended family came and a lot of our friends from church came and some of my friends came. So it was quite the party. We had a bouncy house um, out at mom and dad's house, which we discovered that Uncle Ben is a big fan of the bouncy house. He was probably most definitely the loudest person um, in there enjoying himself, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and she has so many new things now, um, which I've been keeping in the trunk because I told her that she couldn't have her new presents until she wrote her thank you notes, which she's done now. So now she can have all of her presents, but before they sort of disappear into her room or all over the house, I thought I would do a really quick um, small birthday haul. So you can take a look at what she got because it is a lot of it's cute. I'm jealous. I'm excited to play with her, um, with her stuff. So let's get going. So the small loves unicorns. They are her very favorite thing. She often asks my dad if she can get a unicorn. And one of the exciting things is she has learned to say unicorn now correctly before she said it um, in a very cute way, but it was not correct. So we're trying to correct her speech. So now she can say unicorn. So my mom gave her a whole um, treasure box full of unicorn themed things and this was in there so this is her unicorn I can't remember its name it's probably sparkles almost everything that she has is named sparkles so she has this um came from mom and then let me just mom cross-stitched her I don't know if the reflection will show this um unicorn wall hanging that says things like um magic princess wish fairy tales um, tiara tutu ballerina so this is beautiful and this hangs up in her room handmade by grandma so that's pretty special the small likes to do crafts well sort of she likes to color and make things with me and so she got a whole bunch of craft stuff and so from Ben and Heather and Kaylee and Cole she got this big craft jar which has all kinds of stuff to make all kinds of projects so this will be fun for us to do together. We can make all sorts of things and a luggage. And she also got this craft, and I'm sorry if I don't mention who gave her the gift, it's because I can't remember. Um, but it doesn't mean that we're not grateful, it just means that mama can't remember. Um, anyway, but this is her, this is a plush craft fabric by number maker and Kaylee has had one of these and I helped her make it and it's actually quite a lot of fun so you take it and you like make the pillow and you push the little fabric things in there and it makes a design on the pillow and this of course is a unicorn so that will be fun for us to do together or really she'll start it and then mommy will finish it that's probably how it's gonna be um my cousin Amy got her this um ultimate jewelry kit which is fun so we've made um necklaces and bracelets before with the beads and stuff and she does enjoy doing that so now she has a whole lot more beads and a whole kit that she can do by herself so she will enjoy that and my cousin Megan made her her very own art box that she made here I won't show you the top because it has her name on it but I appreciate that all of this art stuff fits into the tub so it is a self-contained gift which is very lovely and this has all sorts of stuff um it has sidewalk chalk and stickers and paper and pipe cleaners and little baubles and markers and just everything paper everything that she could ever need is in here to make all sorts of crafts so I'm very excited for this this is great we have all the craft projects and things that we will ever need so I've tried to sort of um, categorize her gifts so we did the crafts and the unicorn themed things and now we're going to outdoor presents and um, she got some more sidewalk chalk from Mike and Allie, which is good because um, the large pack of sidewalk chalk that Allie's mom had given her got left out in the rain and was ruined. And so now we have a new one, which is great. We need that. So she likes to color outside um, on the driveway. Also got, and I didn't know that these were making a comeback, but apparently they are. We have two different kinds of skip it balls. So one that just goes around her foot and goes a little bit around. And then she got a big one. Um, so, and I told her that she'll be really skilled if she's able to work both at the same time, she'll really be a master then. Um, so yeah, she can learn to skip it, which I think, um, we all know how me teaching her or showing her how to ride a bike went, so I don't need to break my other knee. So this is probably going to be a toy that somebody else shows her how to use so that mommy can keep on walking. <laughs> From my cousin Heidi, um, 
Strato Slam rockets, which I guess these are sound rockets. I don't quite understand what they are. You put them, I guess you just shoot them up into the air, but they make a lot of noise, um, which is kind of cool. I don't know if we'll be able to do it here at our house because we have so much tree cover. Um, but maybe we can take this back out to mom and dad's and they can, and she can play with it there, um, which will be fun. Cause I don't know if we'll want to do it at the park. We might lose them. And if they make too much noise, I'm sure the other park goers would not appreciate us shooting off loud rockets. Um, but yeah, but that's cool. She does like to be outside. So this is a good, a good thing for us to have. So the small got a lot of coloring books and activities. Most of them either My Little Pony or Frozen themed because that's what she likes. She got stickers and she can color Anna and My Little Pony, Frozen stickers and more. Ooh, this one looks fun. Stick and Play Princesses. That looks fun. Ooh, you can like, oh cool. You can decorate all the princesses with their tiaras and lips and eyes and stuff. Mommy might be keeping that one here in mommy's room to do later. Um, but then she also got some books from Highlights, which does educational books and workbooks and things. And so she worked on a lot of these with mom over the summer in summer school. Um, and this is Hidden Pictures, which she actually likes to do this. And she's almost finished with her first Hidden Pictures book. And so this one's a little bit harder. And so that will be good. And then, ooh, Puzzle Mania. Well, that looks fun. Look, there's like tic-tac-toe matching picture games. So that will be fun for her to do some workbooks and stuff. She likes to do that. Next up is puzzles. So I am so proud of the small because when she first came, she really struggled with doing nine piece puzzles or 12 piece puzzles. And now she can do 50 piece puzzles, 50, 60 piece puzzles all by herself. So she has a frozen one and she's got one of the states, which this is good. She has this in various forms. I know she has one of these at school and she also has a wooden version of this at mom's house where the puzzle pieces are the shapes of the states. And so she should be familiar with how to do this one. Um, and then this one of bugs, which she surprisingly really likes bugs. I don't know why, but she does. Um, and then the minions too, which I don't know if she's seen the movie or not. I have not, but um, I don't know. But this one's a hundred pieces, so that will be quite a challenge for her. Um, so yeah, that's great. She can practice her puzzle doing. And moving on to games and more educational things. There was kind of a theme. Um, trying to get her fun things, but also things to help her learn and, and whatnot. Um, I got her sight word bingo because she's very proud that she knows a lot of sight words now. And so we have sight word bingo, which will be fun. She says that she plays this at school sometimes. So this will be nice. She and I can play that together. And she has an I Spy memory game, which she has a version of this. She has I Spy bingo, but this is a little bit different. Um, and a little bit more challenging, so this will be fun for us to play together. She also got this um, deluxe builder set where they're kind of like gears that stick together, and I think she'll really like this. I don't know if she's played with this before. She also got magnetiles, which I don't have in here, but she loves magnetiles. She plays with those all the time at daycare, and so this is kind of similar to that. So now she'll have the magnetiles um, and the deluxe building gear set, and so she can build a lot of things. She has a lot of fun building stuff, um, and so that will be nice. She has her own sets of building things. The small also got a couple of My Little Ponies. She has this little one, this is Rainbow Dash, um, who I think is Kaylee's favorite. And she also got a bigger version of My Little Pony that's somewhere here in the house. And then she got a fancy Arabian horse um, because our friends have Arabian or had Arabian horses. And so she has a fancy one of these as well. The final category is clothes. The small got quite a bit of clothes, um, which is great because she finally is growing taller. So she's still a skinny little thing, um, but she's growing taller and she needs some new clothes. And I am very excited about this one. She got an Illini hoodie. So she will be all set to go for tailgating season. She can come with us uh, to the football games with her Illini gear. She got a couple of really cute dresses and things from my aunt and also from my friend Allie. Oops, that one's backwards. So this one is a new dress. This cute outfit, which is a little bit big on her now with the polka dots and then the leggings. This will be a little bit big, but I think by the time that it is colder, hopefully she will have grown into this one. 
um, this is a really pretty, I like how bright this one is, a really pretty um, summery dress that she can have. One of the activities that I had for all of the little girls, because there were quite a lot of them, um, was to decorate their own shirt. And so I put everybody's name on there, on their corresponding shirts so they could color it. And of course I put the small onto hers and then she has colored it up. So she has that shirt that she can kind of wear around home or whatnot. So my friend Anne sent her some clothes and this, she didn't even really know that the small had such a love of unicorns, but she got her this shirt that says, should have been a unicorn, which is just perfect for the small and her unicorn love. And then I got her this shirt to wear on her actual birthday. It says, though she be but little, she is fierce. So that could not be more true. My small is little, but she is a fierce little one. The small also got mini pajamas, which are great, and most of them are frozen themed. So she's got a long nightgown, and she's got some Olaf pants. I think these are really cute. I would just kind of wear these and lounge around. Um, here's the top that goes with that, the frozen top. Then she's got, I don't know if this is a sleep shirt or a regular wearing shirt, I don't know but that one's got Elsa on it. Mom's friend's um, daughter sews really well, and so she sewed the small some pajamas, and in addition, she sewed Zoe matching ones. So that is cute. So now she and Zoe can match with their pajamas. And speaking, speaking of Zoe, Zoe also got some new clothes sent to her. So she has a, this new dress and she's got a couple of other dresses that came in the mail as well. So Zoe feels super festive um, with her new clothes. And I think that is all that the small got. So my bed is covered with all of her things and we have to find a place in her room to put everything. But like I said, I am super thankful to everybody that came or sent well wishes or loved the small on her birthday. I know that she was kind of overwhelmed with everyone, but she had a lot of fun and she will certainly get a lot of use out of everything that we got here. So thank you all so very, very much. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.